Hello everyone, this is Jasmina and in this video I'm going to talk about the instructions to use Abundant Fortune, this formation. It is an excellent formation to help you increase your level and happiness um, and contentedness with what is happening in your life. Now it is good to have drive to improve your life, but there are some people who are quite successful and are still quite unhappy. They feel like they need more all the time. And this is the really good uh, formation for them to use because they could just keep getting more and more and never be happy unless they realize how fortunate they are. Not everybody needs this. If, if you have gratitude for what you have in your life, it brings the same feeling into your life. So this abundant fortune helps you to be have more gratitude about where you are in your life. You can still work to do better. That's fine, but uh, it's easier to do better when you're generally happy. Now, when times are tough and you, and you may actually be not so well off, you can feel quite deprived. And this is a good formation to use to help you feel less deprived so that you can have more hope and keep going. Now, abundant fortune occurs often enough that you should wait for a non-clash day to use. Now, it is a bit of an unusual um, uh, type of formation. And there are a few people that will have long periods of time when they can't use it. Uh, but a lot of people will have no problem most days. In fact, there are a lot of people that won't have any clash with the day. There are some that will have it with the month, but very few that will have it with the day. Now, no, the normal manifestation routine can be used. You count down 64 to 1. Once you reach 1, you state your manifestation. And it could be something along these lines. You don't have to use these, but uh, something like help me feel content with what I have at the present, or help me discover the skill I need to improve my situation. That is also a way you can use this. Because especially if you are in a situation where uh, the times are tough, and, and if you have a skill that other people don't have, you have a better chance of getting a job even when times are tough. Now, activation can be in several ways. One can be just thinking about what you do have and understanding that many people have a lot less. Another way to do this is to, to um, look around so that you can volunteer uh, at uh, some, you know, volunteer organization to help others that are in need. That is actually very effective. And uh, if it's a skill you really think you need to learn, this is where you do the research to figure out what that is. Now, you can spend time and even start doing some real work, usually on the same day to try to find out what skill you might need. Um, but when you actually want to pursue the good skill, this new skill, especially if it's new, you want to look for a good dong gong date because that, when that's good, it's usually a good day to start something new. It helps if you've got other good things on that day, like a good uh, day officer and uh, a good black rabbit formation. And it would be nice if you also have the good uh, yellow belt yellow and black belt uh, formation, but you're probably not going to get all four. So make sure you have a good uh, gong gong, dong gong date and it's not a yang gong day. Um, so it, it can be a little tricky. Now, this type of manifestation doesn't have a subsector associated with it. So the subsector we typically would use is the heavenly assistant hour subsector. And that is where you do your manifestation. If that particular heavenly assistant hour subsector is clear of an annual affliction and untimely stars, now I can check the annual and monthly ones for that, but you are gonna to have to check your house's charts. 
So you have to know what your, your flying star chart is and what your purple white chart is so that you can use that sector without activating anything negative. Um, and you, you can then use that formation, I mean, activate this formation, the abundant fortune formation in the heavenly assist in our sector, if it's clear. Now I do have a video on how to figure out what the heavenly assist in our subsector is if you want to do this on your own. If there is a problem here, whether it's an annual affliction, untimely star as an annual or monthly, or it's in your own house, then you would use your resident's best sector for the activation. And I have a video that will help you find your best sector, which you have to do because I'm not going to do, I don't know how many charts when you combine them all are over a thousand charts. That's just too much. Now my monthly videos discuss the details of the dates. So I look at things like, uh, what is the day quality? Where, uh, what is the time and the location of the heavenly assistant, our subsector? You know, what time is the best time to use it? Uh, and what is the quality of the subsector? And I'll tell you whether or not it's good to use based on the stuff that applies to everyone, or if you should use a different sector. And so I also look at the general day qualities, including the Dong Gong and, and the yellow and black belt and the day officer, all that stuff. So I do a lot of that work for you. And that's in the monthly videos. Now it will save time, but my monthly videos on date selection are not free because this is really quite a bit of work. Um, but I do have videos that will teach you how to do all of this on your own if you desire. And that is totally fine with me too. I mean, and I think that's good. The more people who know how to do this, the better. So here is the rules or the how you find the formation. It's broken up into the seasons where spring is the tiger, rabbit, and dragon month. Summer, snake, horse, and goat. And I think you've seen this before. And it's sort of interesting. The first month of each season, you have tiger here and here, snake here and here, monkey here and here, pig here and here. So this is the pattern that it has. But um, this is quite frequent. It will happen every 12 days throughout the, each one of these seasons these animal signs appear every 12 days. So there's quite a few of them. However, people that have the tiger, monkey, or snake in their year, uh, and if it's about work and not enough money, then you also look at the month. If you have, if you have those, then there will be th a three month period where you are in, are in clash with the day. So for example, I have a pig in my year. So in the summertime, that's my clash animal. There's not really any day I can use. So, um, so I don't, but, um, I consider myself to have a very fortunate life, even though we're not rich. So this is, uh, this isn't a problem for me, but, um, if that's true, you will also have one month where you also clash with, the, both the month and the, um, and the uh, day. So there, if you have one of these four signs, yes, you may have a problem. Uh, and, and you can use other things. You can, the best thing to do, if you really feel you need this and you're in a clash, is to volunteer uh, at some place that already helps people that are less fortunate. And this will help with your feelings of being deprived because you will realize you actually have it pretty good. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope that this was useful. I realized I had accidentally not posted this earlier. So um, thank you again.